Greyhounds to Suez. Go ahead, Paros here. The first Mbilko Tower separates from the booster. 30 seconds. Start up. 15 seconds. The second umbilical tower moves away from the Soyuz. First aid engine should be at flight speed. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and lift off. Lift off of the Soyuz rocket transporting Roman Romanenko, Frank DeWinna, and Bob Thirst to double the population of the International Space Station. with the International Space Station two days from now, all going well in the first uh, seconds of the flight. Roman, how are the loads? Doing good. Feeling well. Maybe 1.5. Copy. It's just like flying. Right, just like we have to play. Copy that. Maybe about two right now. We can see you now. So you will. Good first stage performance. And we can see the trajectory. Uh, the sky is clear. We can still see. We can see you as a glowing star. And that is good. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. The Soyuz is delivering 102 tons of pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter as it burns for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Separation. The separation is complete. Uh, did the load increase? This speed right now, uh, we got it for one. At about one is the load. Thank you. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. The jettison of the four strap-on boosters has been confirmed. They dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz is traveling more than 3,300 miles an hour. The 287 is the greatest. Um, I'm um, watching light in the left and the right window. Do you see the sun? Yes, you can see the sun. Good lighting immediately. A descent module. Uh, L5 control is on. Good, copy. Issued R-13 command. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. The Soyuz traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour. The Soyuz second stage performing as advertised. The Soyuz is 50, the second stage is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, with a single engine providing 96 tons of thrust for its 3 minutes and 28 seconds of operation. Nominal flight. Feeling well, all in order on board. Inaudible. Namil operation. Feeling well. All in order on board. Copy. 
4 minutes 20 seconds into the flight. This view inside the Soyuz capsule showing Canadian Space Agency astronaut Bob Thursk on the left and Russian cosmonaut and Soyuz commander Roman Romanenko on the right. Out of view, European Space Agency astronaut Frank DeWinna. Seven seconds in flight, nominal flight. Just over five minutes into the flight, the core booster burns out and separates at an altitude of about 105 miles, and the third stage in ignites. Three ten seconds of nominal flight. The four liquid-fueled engines of the second stage had completed their task for today, dropping away. Systems nominal. Copy. Less than four minutes of powered flight remaining. The Soyuz now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. The engine is providing 30 tons of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds altogether. Parus uh, one cannot read you clearly on VHF. We are feeling well. Everything is in order. We will continue in monitoring the system. Copy. Roman, this is Fermina. Uh, what is the calm situation? We can hear you quite well. We have all the indicators on for separation looking. In order, okay, I'm signing off and I'm wishing you good luck and good work. You can always talk to me personally whenever you want to. Thank you so much. We'll continue monitoring the system. Talk to you later. Seven minutes and 30 seconds into the flight. Velocity now almost 13,500 miles an hour. Nominal flight. Confirming all nominal. Inaudible, operating nominally. Over eight minutes into the flight, Soyuz continuing on its climb to orbit. And once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare it for orbital operations. These stored commands, called time tag commands, allow many of the Soyuz's systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times stored in those onboard computers. Separation 